week I thought I would do a video on what I got up to with the horses last week. So I thought that seeing as we can't go to any competitions at the minute or anything, that there is a few online dressages still going on. First of all, quick disclaimer that I feel like I need to say, yes I'm riding but I'm not endorsing like anybody else that isn't riding to ride or I'm not saying that people that are riding at the minute shouldn't ride personal preference at the minute and do what you think is safe just thought I would say that before anyone jumps on anything should be riding shouldn't be riding I'm riding that's me Done. <laughs> so I've been riding Ed and I thought that I would do one of the online dressages just to see like where he's at what score he would get and then if this continues then I can keep doing them each month and see if he improves so I filmed Ed's dressage and I forgot to put my gloves on, so I couldn't use that video. <laughs> so then I came to film it again and I thought I'd ride them both, so Billy and Deb do the dressage test. So I rode through it on Billy first and I thought I may as well film it. And then my plan was to like go home and enter in him, him in it as well. Um, but the day that I chose to film it, there was lots of drilling and sawing and loud noises going on near the indoor. So unless I was doing some kind of like freestyle test that would mark us on how exuberant our spooks were, I thought it would be best not to, to ride it on Ed. So that was fine. I had it filmed on Billy. And Dressage Riders Online kindly let me swap my horse's entry over. So I was just doing it on Billy. So what I thought I would do is talk through my dressage test and talk through the marks that I got on him because we got our results back on Tuesday and then I will tell you how he did and show you a sheet at the end of the video. So what I'll do now is I'll talk over the video and I'll also put in what the movement was and the score and the comment that we got so that you can see. Okay so this was the dressage island prelim 5 so as with all of them, we start by coming A to C up the centre line and we got an 8 for this centre line because we were straight but if you look, his head and neck was just slightly to the right so we could have ridden his head and neck a little bit straighter but an 8 to start off with is a really good start to the test because that's your first impression to the judge so we want those high marks at the beginning and then we've got a 20 metre circle at B so we got a 7.5 for this and a nice comment from the judge saying pleasing swing to trot and he was he was actually really nicely forward and off my leg and active behind more active than normal actually and then we come back up the center line and again he got another eight for this one we were slightly straighter because I did ride his head and neck a little bit straighter this time I think it wasn't because I wasn't worrying about getting right bend ready for the ready for the turn there and then we go and do another 20 meter circle in the middle this time at E. Now this is his better rain so I think he looks a little bit more consistent on this rain. He is still getting used to me riding him in a bit more of a contact so he is a little bit fidgety but he is getting there. I think I just dropped a few marks because if you look I cut my circle a little bit short I didn't actually reach the letter. And then we are going to do a transition to canter just after A. And if you look, it does just come up a little bit. Yeah. So I'll replay that. And the comment was, needs a little more energy in the transition. I think it's because I fell forward a little bit onto his forehand. So I kind of shut him down. So if I was doing that again, it would just sit up a little bit more. But this canter is really nice. He's getting sevens for this canter. And a seven for this 20 metre circle at C. And then we have a transition down to trot at H and this was actually nice because normally he just kind of drops out of canter but he didn't, he kept his energy from the canter and used it to keep the trot forward and then we have a transition down to walk and again medium walk, this is double mark so you really want a good medium walk and as you can see he's got a nice over track keeping himself nice and active. Now this should have been a change of rain with a free walk and a long rain but one thing that we are working on at the minute with Billy is getting him to stretch because he does struggle with it he's got a little short stumpy neck and I think he struggles to get his nose down and out but we're working on it he just needs to give from the withers but as you can see there he starts to get it but it's a shame because I need to gather my reins up because I need to trot at the letter H like there we go 
We've got seven for that, and this kind of transition was also better. There, a little bit more energy. So we got obedient. Again, a good canter, and we're going to go and circle down at the bottom at a twenty meters. So this isn't his better rein, so we do have to work harder with my right leg to try and stop him from falling in because he can just drop his shoulder sometimes. And then downwards transition to trot. And then we 20 meter circle in the middle at E. And this should be allowing the horse to stretch. But again, like I said, he drops marks here. He only got a 5.5. Because he is struggling with his stretch. But he's getting there, see, you can see he's getting the idea. Bless him, he's trying. And then between E and H, we retake the reins. And really, I should have shot my reins more than I did. I don't know why I didn't. I think I just thought, oh, he's going. I'll leave him in this trot. But I could have just done with having the reins a bit shorter and having him a little bit more connected. And just having his pole a little bit higher. But well, it's a nice trot. And got a seven for that. And then we have a transition down to walk at K. And then again, nice medium walk, ready to turn up the centre line. I think we maybe dropped a mark here because he does drift slightly left up the centre line. But we got an eight for our halt because if you see, he does actually do a really nice square halt. There we go. Yeah, he's a really good boy. So that was the dressage test. I'll put in here now a picture of the score sheet that we got sent to us. Um, I did the dressage riders online dressage. There are a few other ones out there that you can do. I chose that one because they had a relaxed rules class. Um, and originally, me and Jasmine chose to do it together and we were gonna do it in the little outdoor. Now, the little outdoor is just short of 40, it's 20 by just short of 40. So you can still do the dressage test if you don't have like a perfectly sized out arena. Um, you just mark it out and do it as best you can. So that was the plan, but then we went to do it in the indoor, which was why also, if you wonder why Billy still got his martingale on in the test, that's why, because it was a relaxed rules class and you were allowed. You also don't have to be in a snaffle in that. Um, what else? You can do it in your show stuff if you really want to. I didn't, but if you do do it in your show stuff, the horse just has to wear boots so that they know it wasn't like filmed in an actual competition you're using it from a competition if that makes sense so yeah we got our dressage sheet back on tuesday and then they put the results online so billy actually came fourth out of 17 riders which is amazing for him because it's his first he's done a few dressage tests but they've all been like at home and judged by people at home so it was the first one that we've done and i was quite excited to get like the opinion of somebody like outside who isn't used to seeing him and know what he's like so that was quite nice um, and in the comments you'll see like they put cracking horse just needs to I think they put just needs to learn to stretch in the stretching bits so that was really nice to get feedback really so my plan is this month because it's now May I'm going to enter on both Billy and Ed I've not decided what classes I'm going to do yet because I kind of want to do a novice on Ed maybe because he has done novices before, just at home, he's not as, like when he's out, I always say he's better behaved when he's out and he's a bit more like on it. At home, he can be like spooky or a bit lazy or, but anyway, we'll see how we get on. And with Billy, I might do a BE test because they also have BE tests. So you can do BE tests or they have like an open, open classes. They also have like just cob classes and um i think they've got an ror class as well which is nice so yes let me know what you think if it's been helpful if you've enjoyed it what else other videos you want to see from us because all the time in the world at the minute to make some videos i am making one somebody asked me a question about my opinion on boots versus bandages so i'm doing that what else am i doing Oh, somebody asked me to do a day in the life of Ed, of course, everybody loves Ed, so everyone wants to know a day in the life of him. So I'm going to do that one probably next week. So yeah, thank you for watching. <laughs>